Talk about random crap week. Isn't that what I do every week? I'm outside! Yay! You guys do not know how hard I work to finally get... And there's the wind again. I was having the hardest time finding a place that wasn't windy because the mic picks it up and it sounds awful, but now the wind's blowing on this side of the house. I know when I'm being mocked. Stop it! Also, there's this guy picking up sticks behind me who has been watching me for the past half hour or so, and he probably thinks I'm really crazy. Right. So random crap. What random crap should I talk about? There's all sorts of random crap that I could talk about. I could talk about words, like how this week's word is ubiquitous, which is a word that means everywhere. I could talk about charities, like... Crap, I don't know what today's charity is. Hang on. I could talk about today's charity, which is for some foundation having to do with FTD Pig's disease. I don't know what that is exactly, but I'll be donating money to it. I could talk about my new MacBook. Ooh. I could talk about how much iMovie 9 sucks. But I'm not actually going to talk about any of those things. Today, I'm going to talk about brain crack. I was sitting pondering what I should talk about in this vlog today, and then I saw Hank's new video, in which he presented a bunch of ideas that he didn't want anymore. And I thought, what is more random and crappy than some of my ideas? And so I, like Hank, am going to cleanse myself of the brain crack for your entertainment. And I'm going to do it outside to show off how nice the weather is in Ohio right now. Sorry. So here we go, idea number one. This idea occurred to me during the period of time while I was trying to transfer all of my PC software over to my Mac and realizing that most of it won't work. Which in turn led to the realization that I would have to be using iMovie 9, which sucks, as opposed to my old software, Vegas Movie Studio 9, which doesn't. So what I think we need for software is a downloading program like iTunes. You know, with iTunes, you can pick and choose what songs you want to buy. You don't have to buy the whole album. You can pick what songs you like and just buy those. So we need that for software. We need some sort of program in place where you can buy certain aspects of certain pieces of software that you like. So if, say, you want to go in and get some piece of editing software, you kind of like the looks of Vegas, but it doesn't quite have all of the stuff that you really like to use. So you can go in and pick the things from Vegas that you like. You can pick the timeline format. You can pick the editing trimmer. You can pick the ability to see both video and audio. And then you can go over to the iMovie and you can pick the aspects of iMovie that you like, such as the options for text and the ability to actually work on a Mac. Or you could even go in and find the things from Windows Movie Maker that you like. Oh, wait. I don't like anything about Windows Movie Maker. And then the program will create this piece of editing software that has all of these aspects that you like. And then you pay the various companies, iMovie and Vegas, for the different aspects that you took from their editing software. I think that would be great and someone should get on creating that. Idea number two. Most of my random ideas are story ideas and so this is a story idea. On the television show MASH there is this great episode in which the main characters Hawkeye and Trapper create this imaginary character by the name of Captain Tuttle. And they initially create him so that they can secure extra supplies so that they can give it to the orphanage. People start asking questions and so they are forced to create an actual army profile for Jonathan Tuttle. And then things continue to snowball to the point where everybody in the camp is convinced not only that Tuttle is a real person but that they have met him that they have seen him, and that they are best friends with him. So what I would like to know is what would happen if we tried to do that today? MASH takes place during the Korean War, so it's the early 50s when identification procedures weren't quite as sophisticated. But now with the internet and everything, it would be a lot harder. So I'm wondering what steps people would have to take to create an imaginary person that everyone would end up believing in today. I mean, at the very least, they'd have to create a Facebook profile. That wouldn't be too hard. I mean, people create fake Facebook profiles all the time. Not that I've ever done that. So yeah, that would be a story that I would be interested in seeing, and then seeing the consequences on a modern stage. Idea number three. One of the things I really like about this MacBook is the dashboard. You can click and it'll give you like time and dates and things that you have to do and whatever else you want to put on there. I think everyone in the world needs their own portable dashboard. So that if you need to check your calendar, you can just go to your dashboard and say, okay, yeah, I've got something on that day. Originally I thought maybe a dashboard in your head, but then that sounds too much like feed and that could snowball to something really, really bad, so I don't want that. But something portable, something like 
you know, something that you can slip on, or maybe a wristwatch or something that you can, you know, see the dashboard display. Um, that's really all the ideas that I have at my disposal. I hope that you have enjoyed this cleansing process of the brain crack. Sean, missed you on Tuesday, man. Hope you're doing okay. And Marky, I will see you tomorrow. Everybody stay shiny and happy. And now I've got to find the stop button. Where is it? There it is.